YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and uh, I'm the guy showing you the craziest anomalies on the net, and tonight and today is going to be no different, that I promise you, look at this piece, looks to have mechanical insides, Looks to be like just totally rusted out metal. And you'd say, hey Mark, true secret, how do you know that? How do you know that this is a piece of metal? You know Mark, there's some weird carvings on the side here. What makes you so sure that this is metal coming across? You know, well, you know what, you're, you're probably right. It does look like there's a bolt or something in here. If you didn't have like a bench stud coming up or the, if you didn't have this piece of metal here, you see this circular like a rivet. There's another indentation here, another one, another one. I mean this thing just comes up totally there's some blurring in it. If you didn't have chain, chain really messes it up for you. How NASA could explain that, these are chain links. They're coming out of some hole here. What's blurred out? I mean, there is something. And I found chain, if you go search back through some of my videos, you'll see that I found chain before. But this weird thing has a bunch of indentations in it, and it's got this weird hole. Wait, see this? They blurred some of this. Now, see, I think the computer missed this. chain links and then over here it looks like there's more chain but they got it somehow they got that blurred but they missed that part see how this thing's got all these weird structures on it see this thing that comes out that they blurred this is a 3d item that's coming out of it see how they pixelated and blurred it see when I come back how you can see there's, it's a 3D item that's coming out the chain. See this? You know, guys, I see thousands of anomalies as I'm going through these pictures, and I won't show them to you unless I really think they're something of historical significance that people should see. Look at this thing, the top of it. This is a, a huge, this thing's all metal. It comes back here. Uh, that could be a part of it. Look at this, almost looks like a guy, like maybe in a rowboat. See the oar? See how they blurred this? Look at this stuff. Oh, it almost looks like another cross. Look at this giant block. Just like you find in Egypt. Now, if that wasn't enough, then we come over here. Look at these rivets. To me, it's riveted steel that's just been destroyed. See this item coming out? Got like a handle. It's a 3D item. You see some shadow. There's more of it. 
else, you know, it's got the wrinkle in it, like a wrink, you know, the wrinkles potato chips. See how it's got that ripple? Another piece of, see this is where they blur it again, see? There's something behind here. I'm sure they put that ridiculous blur. See this thing comes up? See the blur that they put on it? It's really there. Look at this thing. This stuff's really there, guys. Some type of hollow. It's a box. Man, look at this stuff. And some of this stuff, like Will, uh, Will says, uh, some of this we're in a junkyard. No, I mean just. Of course, they got a garbage dump just like everybody else does. See this? The rest of it's down here, but they just they put this nonsense. Yeah, I mean NASA knew where to put these rovers exactly. We just didn't spend all that money to go up there for nothing to to see if there was maybe water. They knew that. There's a researcher that found signs of life uh, with uh, one of the early probes that was sent up there. If you do a little research on it, I forgot his name, but uh, I mean, NASA just blew right over him, trying to say his data was contaminated or something. I'll get you the article, and I'll get you these guys the link. So, I mean, you know. NASA just didn't spend all this money to go up there to, to look at rocks. I believe there's satellite imagery that they cut into these photos. Drones, our rovers, look at this thing. Looks like a tank okay. with a hole blown in it. See how it's cut over and bur uh, buried. Looks like maybe there's a welding line. Looks like a hole was just just blown right into it. This looks like some type of branch or right, see what's coming up. A strange thing. It's actually there because you see the shadow. But you see how NASA blurred this? See this? It looks like an eye on the other side, nose, mouth open. And this thing's coming out of the mouth and coming down. Yes, I know when you see chain and stuff like that, it's clear as day. It really hits home that something or somebody's up there. And what really bothers me is, what if there was a major catastrophe and these people need our help? What if these people are scavenging and concentration, you know, I mean, not, uh, what do they call it? Uh, not concentration camps, um, like FEMA camps, which are to me almost like concentration camps, that's why I said that. There's just so many things about our history that I believe are being withheld in this weird thing.
in parts of our history that we know. Look at this. Comes down, it's a loop, and there's something coming through it. It's a tool or some sort that the computer's not picking up. Look at it. This is like, this is metal. You know, I believe there's so many parts of our history that are twisted and underestimated. And it's just, I don't know, it's just... This is really a shame. Why, why this gets withheld from us. This is... Sorry about that. Go to Soul 88, mast cam right, and you got it. Two seekers out.